Have you ever seen the um? Have you ever seen pitch meetings? Like a movie or something? It's it's a series on YouTube where one guy plays both roles. He's the writer and the sort of producer guy who who gives the, the writer guy money, and he essentially. Um, pitches films that have already been made, like X Men and <laughs> uh, that sort of thing. He pitches those films that have already been already been made. But as he's going through them, uh, the producer guy's like, "Well, how does that happen?" And the writer guy's like, oh, "I don't know." And, like and, and the producer's guy, the producer guy's like, "Oh, all right." Uh, and it just goes on. So they're sort of pointing out potholes and things like that. And he's like, uh, "So we've got this guy." Doomsday, and the producer guy's like, "So what's what's his whole motiv motivation? What's his character arc?" And the writer's guy, the writer guy's like, "He's evil. <laughs> yeah, he's evil." <laughs> uh, I should point out that I started recording like a minute ago, so oh, uh, our morning glory is now <laughs> out there. I've got a bowl of cereal here. Uh, oh, coffee. <laughs> yeah. We're proper early morning this. Yeah, it's like full <laughs> full ten o'clock in UK and like uh, almost like a little bit past noon here. <laughs> but just ha Good that's times. just how we roll. Okay, the plan for today is to point one, exploit our morning cuteness for uh, <laughs> uh, for the viewers because so uh, we are essentially. Uh, we are interested bitches and, uh, <laughs> and point two um, fluffy fluffy material so mm -hmm. in our current process of co uh, project collision course uh, we are gathering up let me put a star on it also, right click menu, don't you fuck me over now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a star appeared. So, uh, um, in, in the uh, course of making the collision course notes, uh, we're trying this method of first drafting that uh, we know certain situations. We're not trying to push anything into chapters or anything, but we, 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 we know certain stuff that happens and now we're giving each of this stuff nugget its, uh, its own document and we're sort of uh, pouring dirty notes into it so that we're, we're basically building up the, uh, the scraps to start building first draft text from so it's like it's it's like the opposite of outlining. It's like filling in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yes. Did you have any uh, uh, specific desires mm. uh, on which situation notes you would like to populate? Let's take one of the new ones that I created yesterday. So one of those that we haven't uh, discussed yet, because that will be extra fluffy. So we did Nali goes to Svalbard yesterday. Uh, yes, Nali goes to Svalbard. <laughs> These document names should have like their own little album and a tour. Mm -hmm. uh, Nali and uh, Jewel is bad at managing Harper House. We did yesterday scribe encounters Nali at Svalbard. We didn't do. Uh, and Nali and scribe tried to find people in the lists we didn't do and I think we didn't do also where all the free meet up mm -hmm. so op options I think possibly we should do a scribey one okay uh, scribe encounters Nali at Svalbard yes Scribe and Gertrude's Nolly and Svalbard. Oh, look, there's stuff here. Yep. You did some stuff. That, that's all. 
Oh, oh, now I know. Uh, I I moved the uh, stuff from the first situation. Uh, I I moved some of it here because uh, one was some was knowledge centric and some was scribe centric, and I moved the scribe centric material here. So this this fluff ain't empty, yo. Yo. Ooh. So uh, this scribe encounters Nali at Svalbard. This is this is after Nali's gone to the front end bookshop and been sent to mm -hmm. Svalbard. Yes. Um, so he, so I'm sort of just recapturing it for mm -hmm. myself. Um, so he arrives at Svalbard, hands over a sample of the data, and then I'm not sure. In, uh, previous to the idea of Synax just sort of being a a sort of robot-shaped hard drive. Um, uh, I was going to use this time to sort of flesh out the relationship between the two of them. Like, they get put in a room together while the scribes are sort of analysing the data and, and they get to talk to one another. Since that isn't the case anymore, I'm a bit lost. Yeah, so... <clears throat> here's... here's uh, point one... Mm -hmm. uh, This is actually the previous situation, not this one, but uh, uh, I did have an idea for a crossover. So, remember how I've told you that I, I have considered that maybe, just maybe, uh, the, uh, uh, the units scribe from the Basecamp story um, is also mm -hmm. present here. Uh, but instead of uh, instead of going on on that mission that has been meddled and nudged upon those people, uh, instead uh, they ended up uh, in some other scribe position, and uh, and previously I I, I have uh, speculated that maybe they or some old librarian at Svalbard it's like big because since this is like deeper inside the reality time time flow is ahead and the people who are like 30 40 50 in in my level should be way older here uh, but I also had a thought last time uh, last night uh, that uh, what if the uh, data shop holder uh, the data shop peddler or, or data peddler, book bookshop, uh, bookshop owner, uh, is uh, is my un former unit unit scribe because uh, that would uh, do, 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 do. let's see uh, that would fit the fit the idea that. Uh, uh, that particular homeworld arrangement was lost. Some people, a, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those people who I feature in my story are just plain killed. Uh, but uh, uh, but like Smith, some others could have uh, uh, could have escaped and scattered elsewhere in the uh, in the friendly systems. Mm -hmm. So. I can plot out the course uh, how this uh, scribe person could have uh, ended up somewhere within the story, uh, but I, I think let's let's keep it an option. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to solidify it yet. It is a possibility somewhere in those <laughs> in those time threads, maybe, but uh, but I'm not I'm not certain of it yet. Uh, now, what was the other thought? Ah, uh, other thought uh, is regarding Synax. So, mm -hmm. I would think that Nali doesn't just drag a, a defunct, no. a defunct uh, <laughs> uh, robot around. Instead, he would, uh, uh, he would uh, remove a memory core or something. Or a memory mm -hmm. bank. Or da data bank, whatever. And could it be that uh, he only has, like, Synax has uh, several uh, memory slots, memory banks, 
and Nali only brings one of them with him to be analyzed. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, uh, because reasons, I, either he can't afford to analyze the whole stuff, or or maybe that's that's the part where the info that interests him is on. So. Uh, so one question is, uh, what triggers Nali's interest in this list? I think I think this question was also in the air since uh, previous session because uh, I think uh, the original short story's motivation that he is just curious uh, is not quite enough for him to take mm -hmm. these extra steps. So he is just curious would be enough to uh, to trigger him and go uh, into the ship and salvage stuff from there. So within the salvage mission uh, that motivation works, but to mm -hmm. go beyond that uh, we, we need a good reason. Uh, also, while you're typing, <coughs> did we not previously say? Um, okay, I might be overstepping this here, but uh, Nali is a constant at the Void Cloud, right? Mm -hmm. In many realities, so maybe there's something there that we can use. Uh, that's uh, no, nah, I, I would think not because that's uh, that's uh, a feature of his that is useful to the Murphy crowd but he doesn't know that uh -huh. so that uh, right, okay. I mean some something from his perspective that uh, that makes him go oh my god I need to find out more about this shit mm. so uh, a sort of safe bet thing would be uh, home worlds families uh, workplaces uh, friendly station that sort of thing I mean, as a placeholder, we can use uh, a danger is coming to the scrap station that he stations in. I'm sort of like half between my cereal and half between <laughs> my thing. It's a very efficient way of working. So right now I'm I'm basically copying my own plot here. <laughs> so it's like somebody somebody from outside signals of a threat to a thing you care about and this sort of gets you off your ass and gets you uh you know activates you motivates you. And mm. and I think I think this is uh, this is something to think over and and refine later on. But yeah, for now, as a placeholder, I think uh, I think this could this can work. Yeah. Uh, yes. You uh, okay? You already put your bowl away, so you can go over to type. So my thinking about uh, Nalis and scribes uh, encounter. Mm is that uh, when uh, when Nali comes in with his uh, uh, analysis order like I, I would I would have this data looked at please it is very ill uh, <laughs> then around the same time uh, scribe returns from uh, from his uh, "Quote unquote field work in the uh, in the unnamed uh, moon base, mm -hmm. and uh, and the state he's in, he he should be rather distraught. And like on one hand, uh, on one hand he should be like relieved that he got away from there, but he should be distraught. And and basically he he is not his uh, usual." 
uh, calm, scribey self. Scribey. <laughs> Yeah, right. As in he he it's it's like he hasn't he hasn't done his meditation exercises and and all that that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, also, side note, uh, I realize how certain jobs and roles uh, are kind of reflecting the Dune universe. So in our case, the scribes are kind of similar to the Dune mentats. I don't I. Honestly, I didn't. Uh, I didn't think of it earlier. It just only only struck me now. <laughs> mm. But then again, uh, one could argue that in the real world you also have uh, specializations based on different assets. Like you have the ones who deal with information. You have you have the IT guys. You have the librarians. You have the uh, plumbers, etc. So, so I I think uh, this is. This is about. Th Shout out to the librarians, yo. And the plumbers. Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just you wait until uh, your plumbing system goes uh, haywire, and and then then you shall reg regret your ungrateful words. <laughs> we got little Bob. Little Bob's our plumber. He's awesome. Okay, that got way off track. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, anywho, so uh, so yeah. Uh, point one, Nali comes in with his order, with mm -hmm. and 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 he has a sort of reference or pause from one of the uh, bookshop or da data peddlers. Okay, because I I, 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 I would uh, think, I would think that uh, the uh, the mothership itself doesn't just let anyone uh, pop in. It's like. I think they take the orders elsewhere, or or take the jobs elsewhere, and uh, yeah, I, I I'm thinking actually it it might even be that uh, uh, that they don't meet on the very core of mothership itself, but some auxiliary vessel that's like meant for business doings and such, maybe. Okay. It, I I think I think might it depends. Not meet on station core potentially in a uh, sort of like an attached vessel uh, or something? Yeah, something like this. Uh, I had a note oh. there this, that this needs discussion. Mm -hmm. Because uh, okay, uh, so uh, the, the discussion needed here is about the mm, how reclusive the scribes are. So maybe they are just open to anybody. Maybe maybe they are uh, maybe they are like uh, arcade's disciples, interacting with their anybody and and sort of neutral ground and uh, and always open and so on. But maybe they do have some uh, some layer of protection around them. I don't know. I, I haven't figured that one out. Anywho, <coughs> Nali comes in with his request mm -hmm. or order or job and scribe comes in with his with his stuff and this this is where the something happens <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, at this point scribe has the uh, doctor's data in his mind so he has he, he still has the memorized data uh, literally sloshing in his head. Yeah. So when uh, because reasons he will somehow get a glimpse of Nali's data. Mm hmm And there are uh, overlapping things, so he recognizes parts of it. And, and from this point on, a scribe will inquire. Okay, and, and uh, I think uh, from the tangent I'm getting also the context. So, scribe 
sees the data but doesn't uh, see Nolly. It glitched slightly, sorry. Say that whole thing again. Uh, so I'm thinking that um, when Scribe sees the data, uh, he doesn't see Nolly himself yet. So it's like either somebody has asked help with an assignment or basically he he is trying to do his job or, or so the situation itself is unclear but he only sees the data uh, he sees the data he recognizes some of it as the list that he still hasn't uh, forgotten like he should have Uh, 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 recognizes it as the list he should have. Recognizes this as the data that he still hasn't forgotten like he should have. Add tangent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so the tangent here is, and you don't have to type it, uh, I know okay. I know it. Uh, so that you have some cereal. Uh, yeah. So the tangent here is that uh, uh, point one, a scribe should have, since he already has the data stored in, uh, in his ship systems, he should have uh, performed a memory dump and, uh, and cleared his head of this uh, memorized uh, shit that he, he doesn't really need. However, I think that he skipped it and uh, on one hand he was too distraught to go through with all the protocols mm -hmm. but on the other hand I'm thinking that he he's holding on to this this data exactly because of what happened to him in the station so he uh, he is still sort of uh, thinking that maybe maybe we can uh, go back and uh, and save save the specimen so mm -hmm. so i'm thinking that the the guilt or at least the desperation that he was unable to uh, bring the survivor with with him I think uh, that is still affecting him. So basically, he is breaking protocol. He hasn't memory dumped uh, his brain. So when he returns, he he sort of he reports in like ah oh, uh, here is my mission log, take it da 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 da, and then he is immediately sent to some uh, oh we have a new order in can you help me out with this da da da, da. and uh, like oh you look pale uh, are you sure you you're you're good to go and he's like yeah 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 give me give me give me the assignment. So, so this would, so otherwise, uh, mm, normally, he would have already forgotten that shit. He would have sort of performed uh, some quote-unquote cleansing magics on his memory, <laughs> and 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 he wouldn't bat an eyelash on this thing. But because he he's still holding the whole list in his mind. Uh, then when he goes to this uh, processing post and and does some things, he's like, "What?" <laughs> 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 and and at this point, uh, he should rush over to uh, to the supervising scribe or whoever arranges these works, and like, "Who brought in the work? Like, mm. oh, take me to him." <laughs> Do you have more? <laughs> Let me see. So you're gonna okay. summarize some of it. Scribe retains the information mm -hmm. because, um, oh, what was the word you used? Um, distraught. Yeah, he is. He's distracted and distraught. So when he returns to Svalbard, he still has that info in his head. Mm -hmm. um, he asked, or he he 
is given the task, I feel like I've skipped something here, by the order to help with or to to take the Nali job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, and... as he returns, he's immediately given a new task. Mm -hmm. He's given the task by the order to take the Nali job. And uh, I'm just going to make the note here, if he had dumped his memory, this would just be another thing. Yeah. But because some information, because he is, because he is holding that info and some of it overlaps, scribe uh, moment, I'm just going to put here, uh, and seeks out the um, head poncho scribe, or, or just some administrator type mm -hmm. scribe, um, uh, who directs him to Nali mm -hmm. and the two meet. Yes. Awesome. Tea and cookies all round. <laughs> <coughs> And uh, now the next question is where uh, where would they two meet? Because if uh, if the data is still uh, being analyzed, then it would uh, it would be reasonable to expect that uh, Nali is waiting around until he's sort of mm -hmm. gotten his answer. So, <laughs> for the lack of better better term, <laughs> he's hanging out in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so yeah, I I, I think uh, we can build a whole sort of internal, uh, internal mundane details thing here. But uh, but for now, let's say he he he's hanging around in the canteen, and that's where where scribe is able to find him. And and seen, I think. It's <laughs> a <laughs> wrap. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, uh, then the next step would already be like, yo, are you the guy who brought in that info that mm -hmm. that I'm working on here? Can you comment on this? Uh, yeah, I found it in space. <laughs> oh, space, you say? <laughs> How quaint! <laughs> Why did you bring it here? Oh, somebody told me to bring it here. <laughs> mm. There could be, I don't know if you'd be keen on this or, or, or if this could be a thing for up in the air, but sometimes when like, you go to a campsite and you hand over your documents, or you're at passport control and you hand over your documents, sometimes they sort of hold on to them for ages mm -hmm. uh, and then when they start asking questions about it you start feeling like oh shit am I in trouble here there, there could be an element of mm -hmm. like wait have I found something I wasn't supposed to uh, and, <laughs> and eventually Scribe will put him at ease but for the for the first little bit Gnarly's a bit like oh shit have I done the right thing here have I yeah. you know yeah, so just I something to consider uh, yeah, yeah I think I think that would be a very natural uh, natural um, reaction like wait what did I do wrong here <laughs> uh, I, I haven't done a thing <laughs> and uh, another sort of discussion or further further de further development needed is to figure out uh, the character stuff between them mm. so like I think right now we are not acquainted enough with either uh, to fully figure out how they would interact with each other so I think uh, uh, the actual meeting and interaction point is where we can stop uh, this particular uh, fluff file 
and uh, and we can return to it once we have worked through more of the uh, more of the salvage mission and scribe and the doctor material. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. <coughs> uh, are we going to take a little breaky break here? I think so. Yes, we All right, cool. have produced fluff. Which is a great success. And <laughs> I am going to stop recording now.